Back here at Carmichael Arena, and folks, this this is the one that so many wrestling fans nationwide have been looking forward to, Matt. A couple of undefeated guys in a top five showdown at 157. Potential preview of the ACC championship at 157. Antonio and O'Connor have already met for an ACC title twice at 149. O'Connor won both of those. Bryce Antonian this year. You know, in his ACC duels, part of the 6-0 campaign, coming off a pin of Logan Ferrero of Duke. And now in his fifth crack at Austin O'Connor, will try and earn his first win. He is 0-4. This is the first meeting between these two. February 28, 2021. There were questions whether Andonian would wrestle at all this season. He is back and back with a vengeance. And he is up against one of the nation's best as well, Austin O'Connor, who was 4-0 all time against Dandonian. 14-0 in the season. A four-time All-American. Looking to make it five here in 2023. This is the one. Two undefeated wrestlers, both of whom actually missed some time earlier on in the season. So relatively fresh to some other wrestlers at this weight class. Connor coming off of back-to-back -back tech fall wins in which he amassed a grand total of 47 points. 24 to eight against Pitt, 23 eight against UVA. Now four times this season he has scored over 20 points. Meanwhile, Andonian as we showed you before, coming off of that pinfall victory in the first period against Duke's Logan Ferraro. He has secured bonus points in five of his six matches this season. That includes major decisions or tech falls where he scored 14 or more three times. So, John, it's almost like looking in the mirror. Both of these wrestlers are capable of scoring points in bunches. And Tony Roby said that's the greatest strength for Andonian. It feels like he is always scoring. We're through a minute, no score. Coach Roby also said that Andonian thrives when the lights are on. Something switches. He's one of those guys built for the big stage. This is one of those big stage moments. For that first win over O'Connor. It's the first time these two are meeting at 157. Previously, it was at 149. Connor ended a double leg. No control, though. No control just yet as the Carolina faithful yell out for two. He's got that left ankle. Tough to tell from our angle if he's got the, the other ankle there on the right side. Now it's Andonian in a better spot, but O'Connor quickly circles. Closest bout between these two was the last time they met. It was 10-8, a two-point victory for O'Connor. And there's the two. First period takedown, and O'Connor looking right out the final 15 seconds of this first period. Fifth all-time meeting between these two. Twice they have met in the ACC Championship and the finals. And O'Connor ends the second period with a 2 nothing advantage. when you talk about it, you gave the score that last time they met, how it was the closest matchup, 10-8. It fits the theme, even when they wrestle against one another. Sure, the totals aren't super high near the 20s, like we've seen from both Antonian and O'Connor, but they're usually very high-scoring matchups. 11-7 in the ACC Championship in 2020, for example. Well, they know how to score. 
They both have had tremendous success, both in conference and the national level. Of course, O'Connor, a 2021 national and champion. Last year, battled through injuries at the NCAAs to finish eighth last season. Coleman Scott says that O'Connor is a guy who doesn't get the praise he deserves nationally, and he said that's something that Austin really takes personally and uses as motivation. Yes, Coleman, who's perhaps the most underrated wrestler on your team? And one of the answers he gave was Austin O'Connor's. Maybe some back points coming here, potentially. Be a takedown. for Austin O'Connor. When you think about it, John, the idea of O'Connor being underrated, it makes you do a double take because you say to yourself, how is he underrated? But on a national level, it does make sense. Well, cut Andoni in three. You look at O'Connor's schedule this season. He's 14 and 0, but hasn't faced that major challenges yet until tonight. So. This could be one of those victories this season that puts him again on the national map, which, as I think everybody would agree, is where he deserves to be. Connor, Greco Roman style. A takedown. Nothing beyond that. 6 2 with a big throw. And he will ride out the second period. Let's take a look at that last tick down from Austin O'Connor. The aggression and the quickness. And Donian's gotten himself near some trouble in the shoulder area a couple times, but has been able to roll out of it. See how Andonian approaches this down by four. O'Connor quickly out of the grasp of Andonia. O'Connor remains the aggressor. Bonus points could be on the table here. He's got over a minute of riding time. Still very far from securing it in this third period. Go for the headlock. Now a single leg. Stall warning against Andonia. First stall call. And there is a second, so a point for O'Connor. Make it 8-2. Two. two of the top five wrestlers in the nation here. O'Connor top ranked in the ACC at 157. Chasing Rob and Frannick of Nebraska and North Dakota State, respectively. a preview of what's to come in March. Another takedown for Austin O'Connor. The Bills to, on this lead already in major decision territory. The advantage and sitting at seven at 10-3. The waiting seconds of period number three. And closing in on securing that riding time. Not there yet. Controlled throughout. We have really not seen Andonian on the attack whatsoever. There's your riding time point. Puts O'Connor up eight in effect. <laughs> Colin Scott said that Austin is best when he wrestles like Austin. Well, he did that right there. A major decision. Vintage Austin O'Connor as he moves to 5 0 all time. We'll try out a Carmichael Arena with a four-point major. Two high-scoring wrestlers in a potential ACC championship preview. It's the aggression of Austin O'Connor that gets the job done.